Hello there, how are you doing? Now in this video, uh, something interesting is going to happen, okay? So what is going to happen is, we have already wrapped the store to the, the React side, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our app component and we're going to import the connect method from the React Redux package that we installed already, okay? So what that will do is that will connect. It will connect for two reasons, okay? This is very important. Connect for two reasons. One, we need to access the data from the Redux store, right? The global store, whatever is there. For example, currently it's empty, but it will have notes available, right? So this is available in the global store. So we need to get that in the Re React side. And from React side, we will dispatch methods like this uh, actions. So this actions, how it will get dispatched. That will also be dispatched from the React side. So as you can see, the connect method will help us do two things one map the state map the redux state the global state get the properties from there get nodes users all that stuff get from there and at the same time dispatch the actions so when actions are dispatched how those actions get dispatched those actions get dispatched from the react side from here they will be dispatched and given to the store connected to the store so the store will know that oh yeah the action has been dispatched and for example if the action has been dispatched with the the type of get notes it will order the reducer okay i've got the get notes uh, type do whatever you want and the reducer will process the data and then based on the payload it will return the new state so get notes we will dispatch from the react side when it will dis be dispatched it will the Re redux store will be informed straight away and when the store will know about the, the type and payload that it got, it will immediately ask the reducer, okay, I got this action type and payload, do do something about it. And the reducer will take, okay, no worries, we do. And the reducer will take, oh yeah, get notes, no worries. I've got uh, this payload, so he, he returns the payload because it comes with the get notes. So this returned, whatever it returns, will be available in this because everything will be returned from that will be available as nodes in the root reducer and that is the actual state okay so that's how it works now before we get too com complicated <laughs> and confused on our own let's do this all right what i'm going to do is import connect from react redux okay so this connect method will help us connect to the redux store the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import those actions action type uh, actions we created what are the actions we created get notes and save notes right let's get them let's get them here import get notes save notes from actions actions Okay, so we connecting and we getting the accents. Now, how these accents will be informed to the store? Because store need to know about this one, the index here. This store need to know. Only then, this store can pass these types to the reducer for processing. Okay, so you see that store is created using this create store method. It takes the reducer. Okay. So, we connect, we get the actions, this action will be dispatched here. Okay, get notes will be dispatched from here. Okay, but first we need to inform to the store because this method will come from the store. Okay, so it's confusing, I know, just, just bear with me, okay, let me complete this one. So what I'm going to do is export default. Now instead of uh, exporting app, what I'm going to do is connect and this connect will take two things one is what do you want to get from the state do you want to get anything from the state yes I want to get the properties from the state for example notes right notes reducer this notes will be available in the in the store because this is how the store is made based on the root reducer right so we want to get the notes from the state right so let's connect when you connect 
first let's uh, say what we want to do we want to get something from the state so we will write them down using this function map state to self-explanatory right this function now we will create this function where we will say okay i want the nodes so map state to that is one argument what is the next argument what else you want from the when you connect from this um, connect to your react to the redox side what else you want first of all we want the properties nodes next we will we want to inform that we want to inform the store that we are going to use these methods as well we're going to use this we're going to dispatch them okay so you put inside curly braces like so okay so we're going to connect we want to get some properties and we want to dispatch the, the accents now we have to wrap it inside this like so so that it is immediately invoked okay this is uh, immediately invoked function expression so okay so we'll connect as at the same time it will invoke uh, the ex export as well okay so let's create this function map state to props now this map state to props what it does it takes two arguments state and then own props okay in, in return what we want is map state to props this method is provided by the react redux okay it, it has it is not from the redux it is from this package called react redux okay so return what i want is nodes from where from the state nodes okay i want to get some properties from the uh, state which is uh, nodes we're getting the nodes and we are um, dispatching these methods as well do is we're going to use these methods okay here instead of let's say in component mounts instead of running this code straight away what we're going to do is we're going to use, execute this get method uh, get notes method right so how we're going to do is we're going to say get notes okay? but we we get this method from where we're not getting there from from straight away from there okay that's the that's a tricky part we're not getting from the accent creators itself we're getting them from the redux store as the props this props get nodes okay so this can be confusing because th that's the reason why we use this connect method it is mapping the properties from the state and it is it is sending this uh, these uh, methods to the state this could be written as another in fact they have another method as well map dispatch to props okay you could use this function and you could pass this function here but this is much more readable and this is pretty straightforward this is easy so all we have to do is we just pass this straight away there we don't need to use this method okay otherwise we could use this so the basic idea is we mapping and we are dispatching okay so mapping dispatching so map map the properties and dispatch these methods now we don't need this function we can just do it straight away that's why we did this okay using this uh, object destructuring okay so it works like that so when the component mounts get notes now on submit as well what we want to do is we don't want to push straight away like that what we want to do is this props save note okay this method also comes from this state because we are dispatching even though it is available here we're not using straight away we do everything from the store we let the redux store manage everything okay? we get from there we we dispatch to there you know, and he will do all the stuff so when you dispatch from here redux will know redux will know oh i got this method so he will give it to the reducer reducer will process return the new state and new state will be available when we map like so we get already we get the updated state okay so that's that's how it works beautiful so we have now if you confuse it happens when you just starting with just follow along after a while it becomes second nature okay? it, it just takes time it's pretty straightforward but in the beginning it takes because a lot of like, here and there you know to get it's not straight okay? now we seem to have an error 
on props map state to props state on props okay that's because we need to write a function here okay function map state to props perfect okay let's see accents notes accent does not contain an export named save notes really save note it gotta be note not notes it's a sing single note okay save note save here yeah, save note okay, let's give it a try accent must be plain objects now this is the reason okay this is the reason why i, I was waiting to show you this one so this happens accents must be plain objects use custom middleware for a synchronous accent that is the reason why we needed because we are trying to make this asynchronous operations okay asynchronous accents in the accent where is it in this accent type we trying to go get this um the snapshot you know all that stuff so it doesn't work because redux what it wants it just wants everything to be plain javascript object it's a very simple fix though all we have to do is install this package called redux thunk so that works as a middleware all right so i wanted to show you this error so that you would understand why i was using redux thunk okay so now let's do that now in this uh, it's running here what I can do is yarn add redux thunk okay okay that's done now let's go to index and here what we do is we let's import here import thunk from redux so you can make ajax call and all sorts of things from your action creators using this once you have this middleware okay so import thunk from redux thunk now what we can do is like uh, we have here our store was made with the reducer which which took the accent type accents and then has the reducer however that for accents to be asynchronous we needed to apply the middleware okay, so let's do that how we can do that is the first param first argument root reducer the second argument composed with the dev tools we can leave it as it is if you were not using this one you would just simply get rid of it and just type apply middleware right but since we're using and we love it why not let's use this apply middleware and then it, inside this middleware, as you can see we got this method from redux in the very beginning right create store apply middleware got from there okay so compose with the so apply middleware in the here we can pass thunk okay so store create store root register compose with the apply middleware thunk and as soon as i saved it i think it's gone here beautiful now in the state as you can see in the state we have nodes object which has one to three nodes okay as you can see the difference three nodes beautiful now now our application is using redux to manage the state we are getting nodes that is returned ultimately from the nodes reducer which is com which was combined there and made a uh, store out of it okay so data is flowing from this store okay so we mapping all these nodes from using the connect method and we are dispatching okay this second argument is the dispatching instead of using map dispatch to props i just use this destructuring okay so this way we are mapping the state dispatching to the state getting all the methods we wanted and then executing here and you referring as these props okay what a dynamic way of building application you see it, it has a lot to go through in the beginning but once you get started I and mean, once you get used to it after a while you just don't want to do anything without using redux it's it's awesome so i know it was difficult it must have been hard to uh, get your head around but but if it was too complicated just uh, go through that uh, redux introduction uh, section that i have and maybe repeat this uh, one or two times until you become fully comfortable all right so this is it i'll see you in the very next video thank you